Hey, welcome to meditation. We're 26 days in. Holy cow, that just be right by, right? But today we're going to go a little bit deeper, a little bit teaching as well as meditating just because it's the weekend, so you might have a little bit more time. Most of you have heard the concept of projection. I think we talked about judgment a few days ago. We all know what judgment is, right? It's the ego's most well-known method of creating walls between people. And what projection is, is we're taking the stuff that we're denying in ourselves and putting it on other people. So judgment is a form of that projection. What does that actually mean? Everybody is of the divine for the divine. Everybody is unconditional love. That is your truth to your core. That is your root. That, who, that is who you were born as. And that is the essence of the truth. That is the most valuable thing you will ever find on the planet because it's the only thing you can take with you when you leave here. And when you are there, only that exists. Only ease and peace and love again exists. And it can be challenging because our parents projected onto us, our grade school teachers did, our siblings did. So it becomes a natural thing for us to project into others. So for example, most of you know I'm a physician and you know, I wasn't a choice. When I was four years old, my dad got mad at me for not being able to spell cat. I spelled it with a K. He has said that speech at both my weddings and he laughs about it. But what, and as much as it's funny and you know, I'm four, I also got slapped for not knowing how to spell cat. Well, what became a theme for me in my childhood was this deep projection of his feeling not enough onto me and all the siblings. It would be enough if we achieved, became doctors, did whatever. And that is a deep thing that's inside of people, is I'm only enough if, only enough if I have a Tesla, I'm only enough if I have this body, I'm only enough if I have that partner, I'm only enough if I have this degree. And that in itself is a falsity that the ego takes on. And we're all taught it. And then we go around digging to everybody else. Oh, you're a cheater. Oh, that bikini looks bad. Oh, you're overweight. Oh, da, da, da. Like everybody does it. And so this meditation, we're going to practice in forgiveness. Because essentially when we see it outside of ourselves when we're judging onto people, we forgive that in us. One thing I, I mean, you know, as much as I could have with my son, good or bad. I, and he knows it. I didn't push him in school. I didn't, you know, say you have to get A pluses. And he found his way pretty good, right? And that in itself may or may not create issues for him. It doesn't really matter. But it's understanding that that was me trying to heal my stuff that I didn't put on him. Got it? Because all we can do is forgive our own that we don't put on another. So if I'm feeling less than because I'm hanging out with somebody who has seven degrees, that is a chance for me to do some forgiveness work on this idea of judgment and separation. And that I am not that because to my core, I am the divine light. Does that make sense to your brain? If it doesn't, I strongly recommend picking up that book, A Course in Miracles Made Easy, or sending me a note on this and then I can try to explain it more in the next meditation. But it's a bit of a deep concept, but not hard. So go ahead and close your eyes. With your eyes closed, settle into your breathing. And just find that place of ease and peace as best as possible. And as your breath moves slowly and deeply, calmly and easily, see if you can let your hips and pelvis melt into the chair. See if you can soften your shoulder blades down towards your hips. And see if you can stretch the back of your neck and the entire vertebrae up towards the ceiling, growing a half a millimeter taller. And breathe. Taking all the focus outside from the external world and put all in the internal world. Remembering that the external world is a reflection of our thoughts. So if we want to change what's going on outside of us, we must go internal. So as you take all of your focus inside, just find that breath. 
observe the mind and just be present. See if you can bring more awareness into your heart center. Now for the next 10, 20, 50 breaths, focus all of your energy to the heart. A little visual I love to do is almost imagining that there's a plug connected from my heart up to the heavens. And there's electricity entering that plug, opening my heart, holding love. As my voice gets quiet for the next few minutes, if with each breath, that heart chakra can open one more millimeter, half a millimeter, just with breath. Breathe. If you like that plug out analogy, imagine through this plug, you are connecting with the truth of who you are. Infinite love. Incredible beauty. Strength beyond measure. infinite abundance and deep, deep love and breathe. Opening that heart just a little bit more. There you go. Connecting deeper to your God self as you're going deeper within. making that communication with the divine inside of you louder and stronger. As we go further into this meditation, I would love for you to think of a story that you grew up with from your childhood. Like I shared mine. Maybe yours is around body weight, what you looked like. It's a million things we're taught. How much money you have, how much power you have. And I want you to imagine now that one wound that you were taught. Just think of one. And I want you to see that you do it to other people outside the world, very subtly perhaps, or very obviously perhaps. Maybe you project onto that person because of what they drive their car. Maybe you put that person down because they don't make money. Or maybe you put that person down because they're a housewife or a stay-at-home dad. Maybe in the back of your mind, you put that person down because of their body weight or their skin tone. We all do it. Let's just admit it and breathe. Here's the deal. The only reason you, were you do it is because you were taught it. So now for the next little part of the meditation, 
You're going to stay connected to your God source. This is who you truly are. And forgive yourself for the idea that you were something else. Forgive yourself that this idea that you were a degree. Forgive yourself from the idea that you were a certain body type and that made you something. Forgive yourself for this idea that your hair color or skin tone made you better or worse of a person. And whatever it is that you're forgiving yourself on, what you were taught that you project onto others, just breathe. The really common one is that person's nothing because they don't work enough, they don't work hard enough. Just breathe. Getting some deep time forgiveness for labeling something that was not true, that was not of the God self, of the connection to the plug. Again, as my voice gets quiet, spend some time here visualizing, imagining, sensing, or seeing what you're forgiving and releasing it to the heavens and just keep breathing. The slower you breathe and the more connected you are to that forgiveness, the lighter you will feel. You are literally releasing any thought that you're anything other than this divine I am that you were born of, this God self you are. And the beautiful thing about projection, it gives us fuel for what we were taught that we can forgive ourselves from. So we can plug ourselves into the heavens more often. Now keep that breath slow and deep, calm and easy, fluid and relaxed. You know, I say this almost every meditation. Please stay here longer. This is a deep one, really deep. You may find yourself triggered from things outside of you now. You're more aware. This is giving you fuel for that which needs to be You can stay here longer if you can. Remember the inner world is the fruit for the outer world. The outer world is only a reflection of the inner world. So as you spend more time here, you will heal within to create a miracle in the outer world. Hope you have the best day. We'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.